Good afternoon, everybody. This is Daryl the Black Phoenix. And what a beautiful Sunday it is. We got a little, it's, it's warm here down in South Georgia, uh, zone 8B. But we do have a little light breeze that's going on. So it's not as bad as it normally is. Hope you can see me there. But anyway, what I'm doing today is potatoes. This is potato day. And if you recall, I put potatoes in these two little bins right here. I don't want you in there. I smell. Anyway, I put potatoes in these two little laundry baskets. So today, it's time, it's time for harvest. This is harvest day for them. So I'm gonna take them, and I'm just gonna dump them right here inside my, inside my cart and see what we got. Are we gonna have something or we're not gonna have something? That's all I can say uh, for that. And, well, there go one right there. So we got at least one potato. Now, will we have more? I have no idea, but let's give it a try and see what happens, okay? Ah, here's some more. Ah, nice little sizes. This one's nice. The little small ones right here. Now, these were the red potatoes that I uh, planted. Now, these were potatoes that I was actually gonna throw away. I was gonna toss them out. And then I decided to say, hey, Let's see what would happen. Once again, that was five potatoes that I planted. I should have cut them in half, but I did not. Uh, I think I would have had, had a bigger harvest and a little bit of baby. I would have had a bigger harvest if I had uh, cut them, uh, but, I, but since I didn't, I didn't. Well, you know, you live, you learn. That's all I can say to that. So two, two more little small ones that I'm throwing in a little bucket over there. And let's see what we got here. Nothing there, nothing there. Ah, maybe I should let it go a little bit longer because I can see some more trying to come out right here. Okay. All right, I don't see anything else here. I think next time that I do plant potatoes though, I'll actually put them in a different, in a, in a bucket instead of in uh, the, the laundry basket. Uh, I like it, but uh, what I don't like is that I have to keep putting, lining the paper around it to keep the uh, the dirt from, the growing medium from falling out of it. So there's one, one bucket. Hope you can see that. Can you see that? That's one bucket right there. Okay, now I'm going to do the other bucket, and here's why I said that uh, maybe I should have went a little bit longer, is that if you can look and see the little nose, that's right there on it, and they're pretty much all over. So, there's one. Make sure that we got everything, all that we can get from here. So there's one, move this over, and here's number two. Alrighty, starting right off the bat, we have another one. I'm gonna put that in a separate bucket, see which one gave the most. Interesting. So here we are breaking the breaking the soil up, getting to the potatoes, I hope. Ah, here's a couple more. Alright, there's one. Have buds on this one as well, as you can see right there. There's a little another little small one. Okay. It looks like that might be it. So I do believe that if I had cut them into pieces, I would have had a bigger harvest than uh, what I did. So what I would do the next go round is I will cut them. Here's another one. Very small. I won't do anything with that. 
maybe use it for a seed if anything else if anything okay another seed or be used for seed rather and that's what I use it for now I, I, what I need to find out though is when is the optimum growing time for potatoes uh, that's the next thing we're gonna find out so uh, and let's say I do like red red skin potatoes better than I, better than I do any other so other than sweet potato, which is which is totally different. I do a video on that one when I harvest my little sweet potato bed. Okay, what I'm gonna do with this soil here though, is I'm gonna mend this and use it for something else. Uh, if it's good, it's good. Okay, so that's all of the potatoes that I found really really small ones like that so once again I'm just sifting my way through it to make sure that I got uh, everything out of it which I believe I do it's a small harvest and once again I do believe if I had cut these potatoes I would have got a much bigger harvest and here is the second bucket so overall we got maybe a couple pounds of about two pounds maybe if that yeah probably about two pounds overall so I use most of this and I make some uh what I do this I think I'll make a uh garlic parmesan roasted potato is what I do with these right here okay anyway I just want to show you uh, my potato harvest and once again uh, and before I go I will show you uh, a brief show you briefly what's going on with the garden here's the sweet potato uh, patch it's looking looking pretty good though watermelons they're looking good they're growing good and growing the cabbages I trimmed everything back or pruned it uh, most of these I'm gonna be taking up I'm also gonna redo my drip irrigation system as well these uh, collars I'm gonna take them up the cabbages I just basically think it's just the wrong time of the year for them uh, but that's okay they're still looking good though the corn though is really looking good here's one this one I planted in the bin this one I transplanted into the bin it doesn't look as well as the other one okay and my carrots which will be the next harvest probably the next harvest that I have but it's looking to me it's looking pretty good uh, almost that time so uh, in fact let me go ahead and pull one of them up so you can see how it looks put one on the outside a little rocking and pull it up you know I pulled one up the other day it was bigger than this one though this one is you know, about an inch long inch and a half the one I did the other day uh, was about three and three or four inches long but I'll wait give it a little bit time longer and my tomatoes are doing pretty good as well uh, I wanted a bigger harvest but nothing yet but uh, we are uh, blessed to have what we have and it's still more than what we started with anyway this is uh, Daryl the Black Phoenix signing out I uh, love you please like and subscribe always remember that out of the ashes the Black Phoenix will always rise much love, peace, and if you see anything I can do better, please let me know because I would love it, uh, the comments.